There we go. Entonces escucha ella. Ya está en mute. 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 Porque es penosa. Hi to everyone. No sé qué estoy talking. Eso te tiene que, eso te Yo tiene sé que, que se tiene que ver ahí, calmarte. Okay, welcome everybody to our second mole class. I'm so excited um, to be cooking today with the new mole, which is a new mole that is only found at Northgate. And with um, Chef Isabella, who um, I can't wait to try these cauliflower mole tacos. So with that being said, I'll hand it over to you, Isabella. Hello, everybody, and welcome to another virtual cooking class with Northgate. I'm your host for this evening. My name is Isabella, and we're really excited about this class. Uh, we have really cool and really amazing and delicious ingredients. Uh, we have mimole, which I'm really excited to talk about. And then we have our friend from Cacique that was going to cook with these ingredients that I bought all of my ingredients at Northgate. And we're going to end our class with something very special. And yes, it is a cocktail. Sí, sí, tiene etiquete, el final. Así que se esperen, porque yo sé que los que ven en clase les gustan tomadera. It's okay, we all like it, don't worry. Um, and a little bit about me, if you, if the first, the first class you're tuning in, uh, I'm a photographer, I'm a food stylist, and I'm a self-taught chef. Uh, and I say self-taught because I didn't go to culinary school, but I can basically tell you that cooking and food is in my DNA. Uh, I grew up around the kitchen. Uh, I have family members who have restaurants, catering businesses, uh, abuelitas that cook up a storm uh, and were known for their foods, uh, which I have been told I have inherited their sazón. So I'm really excited to be here with you hosting this class. And I always knew I wanted to to work in the food industry. And I always knew that photography was also my passion. Uh, so I'm very blessed that I get to combine both and I'm really excited to cook with you guys today. So what we're going to make, and mole, I have to mention that mole is one of my favorite foods ever. Uh, I wanted to give it, I wanted to serve mole at my wedding and at my bridal shower. And I was told that not everybody is a fan of mole. Uh, but I, that, that was, it, mole has always been my thing. It's always been a staple at my house. Uh, everybody in my family has their own like version of mole. Uh, and we can talk about that, but today we will be working with mi mole, which is a black mole, uh, concentrate, uh, a Oaxacan black mole. And we'll talk about that. And then we're going to make uh, roasted cauliflower tacos con mole. And we're going to end with a cantarito, which we'll talk about later. Uh, and if you guys have any questions, remember to put your questions in the chat and then I'll be cooking along with you. If anybody's cooking, uh, ask away. And if you're just watching and you're here for the cocktail, uh, stay tuned. Okay, so let's get started. Is everybody ready? Let's do this. Let's do this. Perfect. Um, and maybe we can come in closer so they can see the packaging, the branding of the cacique, which we're going to use this crema and we're going to use this queso. And this is mi mole. You can find it at Northgate. And I chose the black, the black mole. I think they also have a red one, uh, but I chose that one. So just so you know how it looks. Okay. 
Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're going to have our oven ready at 400 degrees and we're going to roast our cauliflower, okay? So this is one head of cauliflower. What we're gonna do uh, is we're gonna cut it into, into florets, into little pieces. Uh, so I have, I always like to cut it in half because I think it makes it easier uh, to, you know, para deshacerla, para. So what we're gonna do is I cut it in half and I got rid of the stem and I'm also gonna get rid of it right now because it's, it's a harder part of a cauliflower that it has leaves and you don't need it. We're gonna discard that and we are going to cut the other piece. There we go. And just get rid of any, any leaves that it has. These are pretty bitter. Um, you can definitely eat them, but they're pretty bitter. We're gonna to stick to only the florets. There we go. I'm gonna cut it in half again. You can do it the easiest way you find it. This is just my way of doing it. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab a bowl because we're gonna to toss the cauliflower in olive oil and some garlic powder. So this is a cauliflower for it. Un arbolito, como quieran decirle. We're good. Okay. So let's not do huge pieces because these are gonna be in your taco, okay, you guys? So I also cut a little bit more of that stem because what you really want is this little head of the cauliflower. So I'm gonna just continue and I like to leave smaller and larger pieces so I can get some chunky cauliflower and I can also get some smaller pieces that are gonna be really crisp, get really crispy in the oven. So I'm gonna get rid of the stem. And mole is such a versatile sauce. I mean, you can basically drizzle it on top of anything, huevos, uh, sopes, chicken, um, you name it. You can go vegetarian style, like we're doing today, or you can definitely add it to a protein. So that's up to you, but these tacos, you don't have to be a vegetarian uh, to love these tacos, they're really good. Okay, so I'm gonna continue. Any questions, you guys? I'm just basically cutting up the cauliflower right now. And roasted cauliflower is definitely has more flavor than just uh, boiling your cauliflower, steaming it. So roasting it with a little bit of, we don't want to do too much seasoning on the cauliflower because our mole, el mole, is a star of this dish, okay, you guys? And the toppings. But we definitely want to season well uh, our cauliflower. Not too much, not with exotic seasonings, just with a little bit of garlic powder and olive oil and salt and pepper, and that's it. You do want it to be have some flavor, but you don't want it to be overpowering because the mole is a star of this dish. Okay, you guys? So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna get rid of this. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna toss our cauliflower florets that you can also buy. Uh, they're already ready to go sometimes in a bag. Uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna add two tablespoons of olive oil. We're just gonna kind of drizzle it. And then you're gonna add one teaspoon of garlic powder. And then we're gonna season with salt and pepper, okay, you guys? And season to taste. You can kind of eyeball it. I really like pepper. I always mention that. Um, but yeah, you can just add however much you want. Just like that. I'm just going to toss them in the olive oil garlic powder mix. I'm going to add a little, another drizzle. There we go. So just a simple seasoning with ingredients we already have at home. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna place it in a baking sheet with, I like to use a silicone mat, but you can use a part, piece of parchment paper or aluminum foil. Um, and I toss, toss this already and we're gonna place it, where, you can see there's not a lot to see, it's just cotton flour. Um, but we're gonna place it in a baking sheet and we're gonna bake for 400 degrees and we're gonna bake for about 30 minutes. And you're gonna check it and see if 
uh, if the cauliflower is nice and has crispy parts and it's done. So about 30 minutes and I'm gonna show you what, what it looks like done. So this is what our cauliflower looks like roasted. And this is great. This, this cauliflower recipe is great to, to, to just put on a salad or you can drizzle with whatever you want. But today we're making tacos. So let's get started on the mole, okay, you guys? So we're using mi mole, which I love because it literally tastes like if you're in Oaxaca, okay? So it comes in this little pouch. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna we are going to, you just need to add a little bit of tomato puree, uh, one cup, and then we're gonna add a little bit of chicken broth and at the end, we're just gonna season. So it's really easy, you don't have to do much and it's ready to go. So I'm gonna show you how it comes. It comes, it's a concentrate and it comes in this little pouch. You can see the oils, it, it, it's a concentrate. This is gonna become way more mole than you're seeing in this little pouch, okay, you guys? What we're gonna do is we are going to, we are going to fry some tomato paste, okay? Tomato puree. Uh, about a cup. What oven temperature did you, did you advise to 400 use? 400 degrees. Thank you. So I'm just gonna add a little bit of oil to fry my tomato puree, which is one cup. There we go. I'm just gonna cook for a bit, just so it fries, and I'm gonna turn up the heat. And we're gonna add our uh, uh, tomato, not, not tomato, tomato purees in here, and we're gonna add our mole, you guys, okay? We're just gonna saute a bit and fry. And then we're gonna add our mole. So this is the little pouch of mole that's gonna the magical drizzle on top of your cauliflower. I promise. Even people who don't like cauliflower in my house like the tacos. So that's a bit. And ma mainly the men are like, oh, you put it But yeah, it was good. It's really good. I mean, mole, you guys, mole is amazing. So we're going to add. And I love the easy cleanup of this mole. It comes in a little pouch. You know, some other brands, you get like all the oil stuck in your hands, but this is basically it. We're gonna get everything rid of the pouch. There we go. So mole magic happening right there. So what's your guys' favorite thing to drizzle mole with? Anybody? <laughs> That's hard. White rice. White rice? Mm. So people here in the back, what's your favorite thing to drizzle mole on top of? See what our Chilas friends Chilaquiles, say. and you? Todo. Rice and molados. Yeah. I really like the tradition. I, I mean, I love mole on everything, but I think I'm a pollo con mole kind of person. Pollito. Yeah, and arrocito mexicano, definitely. So I'm just gonna mix this, you guys the puree with the, with the mole. And what we're gonna do is we're going to add, we are going to add, recipe has, and the recipes for the mole is in the back of the pouch. Uh, for, it asks for two cups of chicken broth. It, or you can also do vegetable broth if you don't wanna do chicken broth, uh, but I'm gonna gradually mix it in. Cause you know, also mole has, uh, it depends on the consistency that you like. Some people like thicker mole, I really like thicker mole. Um, and some people like super smooth, uh, but definitely continue to cook it. There we go. And I just put the recipe in the chat for all those that wanted to the recipe. There we go. Ooh. And if there's not a mess in the kitchen when you're making mole, no es mole. No, just kidding, you guys, but definitely mole is, can be a messy dish, but it's one of those that it's delicious. It's worth it. The best recipes are the ones that you get your hands dirty, I promise. Mm -hmm. 
I got to taste that mole a couple of weeks ago and it is just really it's good. It's really good. It's really, really good. Um, it's, it's really good. And I, I can imagine this mole and we're going to show you where, um, after I'm done adding the chicken broth, how uh, it's going to be a little smooth at first with the two cups of chicken broth, but it's going to thicken after that's what, what happens with mole. It's going to thicken a bit um, when it uh, comes to room temperature. Okay. So I'm going to out of the rest of the chicken broth. And I'm going to season with salt. Just a little, two teaspoons of salt and then I'll try it. Anybody actually cooking this at home? Like on real time? I always say you guys are my heroes. No I guess somebody sure. said the tomato puree isn't listed. So how much tom tomato puree did we add? Uh, it's uh, tomato puree is uh, one cup. That's what the recipe for the okay. The little pouch asks for it. Okay. Okay. So it's one cup. So come and show them. Let's come and show them. There's a bit of a mess in the back, but look at that mole, molecito. Okay, you guys. It is a bit smooth right now but it will thicken up okay and we season with salt you can also season with a little bit of pepper but i would definitely try it first and just season to taste okay i'm gonna turn this off because i'm gonna show you how it thickens up you guys so here i have mole the mole that i previously cooked and it's you can see it has a very mole consistency it's it's thick it thickens up and it's Beautiful, look at that. And it, oh my God, I wish you guys could smell this. I swear it's amazing. We have We're people cooking now. with you. So Any questions? We have, a, we have some people cooking with you today. So that's exciting. Yay! I'm gonna go grab a plate, you guys. Let's Hola, Clarissa. I love people who join every time and they're cooking and are really excited about making this. So this, I mean, I know mole has like such a, like mole, it's like, oh my God, I can't make mole, you know, because it's, it has a hundred million ingredients. It does, uh, but me mole has your back. Uh, perfectly, uh, perfect uh, concentrated black mole. And it's, you saw, it was easy. It's easy peasy and your cauliflower is nice and roasted. And what we're gonna do now, and you can definitely heat your tortillas on a pan or whatever, but I'm gonna do it directly on a gas burner because I really like uh, a little bit of charm on my, my tortillas. So I'm gonna do that, you guys. Okay. Any questions? Hold on there. No, the no, just that they really that. like they really like your salseros. <laughs> your salsero. <laughs> Which one? Which one? Uh, I guess the one you Oh, the white ones? Yeah. Oh, the little bowl. Thank you. Uh, so I'll talk a little bit about the toppings, okay? So I have toasted sesame seeds and I have pepitas or uh, what is it? Calabaza seeds. Um, I have a thinly sliced radishes. Let me turn my tortillas. Uh, I have one fourth of a red onion thinly sliced. And then I have my mole, okay, you guys? And we're also gonna drizzle with a little bit of crema. And I'm just heating up my tortillas. Oh, I love the smell of a tortilla over the gas burger. There we go. You want him to have a little bit of char, but you don't want him to be both up. You want him to be pliable, okay, you guys? So I'm gonna have, I'm gonna make three tacos. Any questions? Um, this, does the mole contain chocolate? I think it has a little bit of it, huh? I believe it does. I believe the concentrate does have 
Uh, it has all the traditional uh, ingredients and spices that Morde has. So I, I believe it does have chocolate, yes. Yeah, I think uh, it's Oaxacan and usually Oaxacan yes. does, is a little sweeter uh, than other moles. Yes, because there's also a mole verde, which I definitely know does not have chocolate. And then there's mole rojo and then there's mole almendrado. And I think that's, I mean, I, I know there's more. Uh, mole de olla, but that's like more like a beef stew. Yeah. Okay, so here we go. My tortillas, and now I'm gonna assemble my tacos, you guys, okay? Isabella, how long did you heat the mole on the stove? Uh, I heat the mole on the stove until it boils, and then I reduce to a simmer, uh, and just, just until its uh, ingredients are combined. Uh, and and it's gonna, like I said, I didn't, obviously I didn't cook it all uh, right now, on, on right now, uh, but it's gonna bake in a bit after it's at room temp, okay? Uh, so continue to cook it and bring it to a boil and then reduce the heat to simmer and take it out, uh, uh, remove from the heat uh, and your mole will thicken a bit. Thank you. Okay, so are we ready to assemble our pickles? Yes. When I love how the cauliflower has some pieces are a little bit more crispy than others, I love that. Okay, so what we're gonna do is you can come on over so they can see. Uh, we're gonna grab, grab cauliflower just like that. Oof. And I was always that weird kid that loved vegetables when I was growing up. Like I think I had like Brussels sprouts before they were even like a thing uh, and just like steamed. And my mom is here to confirm it. So um, I love love cauliflower growing up, and I love Brussels sprouts and beets and beets apparently. So I was I'm really into vegetables, but me and fruit don't get along as well. So at least I at least I eat my veggies, you guys. You like okay. avocados? Yeah, and avocados. Oh yeah, avocados are fruits. So definitely, okay, I like fruits then. <laughs> So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna drizzle with mole. Oh, look at that. Look at that salsita. You have a lot of people that love veggies. Ooh, yay, veggie people. I swear I can't eat like any veggies, but I can't eat a lot of fruits. I don't oh know why. God, that looks so good. Look at that, perfect drizzle, perfect consistency. Flavor is amazing. If you would also like to, place your cauliflower in the mole, like in the in the little olla or in the little pan that you uh, cooked it in, you can definitely do that. I really like, I don't know, I really like to also see my cauliflower. Uh, so, so there we go. Uh, we are going to add, or well, we're gonna drizzle crema first, you guys, okay? And I'm using my favorite crema ever, cacique, crema mexicana. And I love it because it's a little bit more pliable than regular sour cream. Uh, it's perfect for drizzling. So I love it, love it, and the taste is amazing. What we're gonna do is we're gonna drizzle with a little bit of crema, just like that, look at that. Okay, I really also like enmoladas now that I'm thinking about it. <laughs> now that I see the crema with the mole, I'm like, okay, enmoladas. Ooh, look at that, crema. My mouth is watering. Oh, my oh God. it's so good. These are so good, I swear. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're going to add a little bit of onion, red onion. And the red onion's gonna give it that little crunch that you need. And also that uh, it adds to the flavor. So you can just do like a little, a couple of slices of red onion. And then we're gonna do rabanos or radish. And these are so, they're so pretty as garnish, but they also taste really, really good with a mole. You wouldn't think so, but they go really well. They add a little bit of acidity and crunch and spiciness as well. And if our, one of our um, viewers says it's also an antioxidant. It is. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna add some pepitas, which pepi I think pepitas are in some of the moles in Oaxaca. So it per goes perfectly well and it's gonna, give it a little crunch to your taco. And then we're gonna to top up with sesame seeds, which is a more traditional topping. 
So I have two questions for you. Yes. One, is the onion pickled? And no, the onion is not pickled. It is fresh. And second, is the sesame seed toasted? Yes, sesame seeds are toasted. Uh, onions are not pickled. And uh, pepitas are also toasted, but you can definitely go with raw or whatever choice you like. I'm gonna go grab the cilantro to add that little garnish on top. It's gonna give it a pop of color and then we're gonna try our tacos. And we're just gonna use the cilantro leaves for a little bit of also flavor, but more so garnish. And if you guys make these tacos, tag us, tag Norte, tag Mi Mole, tag, tag Cacique. We wanna see your food, we wanna see your tacos, and we wanna see what you learned today. So here is a closer look at these tacos. Look at that, you guys. You can serve this at your next gathering, gathering and people won't even know it's vegetarian. They'll be like, ooh, what is that? Wow. Oh. So is there any questions on the tacos? No questions. Everybody's so quiet How today. What are you doing, Martha? Martha's the one cooking with you. I want to make sure we didn't lose you. Are you good, Martha? Hi, Martha. Yes. Let me know if you have any questions. If you're yes, she's good. So perfect. Awesome. So I think we're ready to go ready. to the fun part. <laughs> Oh, to the fun part, you see? You guys are always here for the drinks. Seriously, <laughs> everybody, and I'm drinking my Diet Coke. <laughs> but everybody's always waiting for that drink. And when I don't have a drink, people are like, oh my God, you don't have a drink? I'm like, ay, bola de borrachos. Esperen que para el fin de semana. ¿Qué les pasa? But yeah, uh, we are, we might move on to the cocktails now. Um, but before good. that, I think I'm going to tell the chocolate. Yeah. Let's try it. Well, have you try it? Oh my God. Isabella, I think your bandwidth is low. My back with my what? The bandwidth. Sorry guys. Um we might have to it says it your bandwidth is oh there we go. We're back. Okay, we're back. Yeah. Okay, so you want me to try that taco again or did everybody see? <laughs> it's up to you. It's really good, you guys. It's really good. They're so pretty and they're so delicious. Ooh, that mole, you guys. Mm. Mi mole, amazing. And with that crema from Casita, and if you top it with some cheese too, amazing, amazing taco. Martha wants yes, to know if, if you added queso. Uh, yes, you can add queso. Uh, I didn't add right now, but you can definitely add queso. It's optional if you want, but yeah. Crumble queso fresco from Cacique. Thank you. Any more questions? Should we move on to the drink? Let's move on to the drink. Okay, you guys, let's do it. So come on over. Is there like a ray of light in my face? Yes. <laughs> right there. I can place it. Yeah. Okay, you guys. So we're moving on to Cantaritos. And Cinco de Mayo is coming up, you guys. And you know, um, it's not necessarily a Mexican holiday, uh, but we did win a battle of Puebla and there, we don't, Mexicans don't, we need another excuse to celebrate you guys. So <laughs> head on over to uh, Northgate and they have these really cool uh, cantarito sets uh, and they come with two cantaritos, they come with un exprimidor with a 
lemon squeezer, I believe, or what's it called? And uh, it comes with tajin, and they're ready to go. Uh, and our friends from Patron and 7-Up um, are going to be mixed in these drinks, and let's get started. Um, you're going to need chamoy, and you're going to need some tajin, because we're going to rim, we're going to rim our cantaritos, okay, you guys? And I love these cantaritos because obviously they're Mexican, so de barro, but the drinks get really cold in here and they stay really cool. Uh, and I love that. So these are our containers for today. These are our cups for the day. So what we're gonna do is we are going to rim our cantarito with some chamoy. You can do extra chamoy. So uh, sometimes when it drips off the sides, it's really good. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do that and we're gonna cover it with tajin, you guys. And this is what it looks like, okay? So here I have my candaritos and I'm gonna do the same with another, with an extra. Chamoy. Now my mouth is watering, you guys. Yes, I went and got my cantaritos the other day. So if you buy some products at Northgate, you get them free and they are really cool. It's a really cool little package. Yes, they come in a really nice little a wooden box um, and it, they're really cool. I'll try to put a picture on the chat for you guys. Okay, and my camera crew today has been really noisy and they've been moving a lot and I hope you don't hear them. Um, and I hope they're staying in their place today. The light was <laughs> Apparently the light was weird, uh, but yeah. Okay, what we're gonna do is we are, and we also have, we're gonna use four ounces of Patron, you guys. Two ounces for each drink, two ounces per person. Uh, you can definitely do a little more. I, I would definitely say try it before, uh, but yeah. So you need four ounces of Patron, silver Patron, and then we're gonna need seven up. You need eight ounces, and I'll show you how to make it. And then you're gonna need one ounce of freshly squeezed lime juice, and you're gonna need one ounce of freshly squeezed grapefruit juice, okay? And for garnish, we're going to use lime, and we're going to use grapefruit, and we're also going to use orange, okay? So what we're gonna do is we're going to add ice to our cantaritos. And do lots of ice, you guys, because that's gonna help your drink stay nice and cool. If you guys have any questions, let me know. If I'm rushing, also let me know. I'm excited when you're these. Okay, there we go. So ice in our cantaritos, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna divide that one ounce in, of both juices in between our in between our cantaritos. So I'm gonna do half here, and I'm gonna do half here. I'm gonna do the same with these guys. There we go. And here's for the fun part, you guys. Tequila. Okay, and we're gonna do two ounces for each. And this is a two ounce measure. Cocktail measure. There we go. No son citas, no pasa nada, Maltex. No se preocupe. Ooh, it smells really good. It smells really, really good. And what we're gonna do is I'm going, I have a mic here, but I'm just gonna mix it. There we go. And we are going to top off with 7-Up, you guys. This is delicious. Everybody knows 7-Up, delicious, bubbly, and it's gonna add that sparkling we need to our beverage, okay? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna top it with this. 7-Up. Ooh. There we go. Ooh, the bubbles. There we go. It's as easy as that. Seriously, the easiest cocktail you're ever gonna make, you guys. I'm just gonna mix a bit. Ooh. And the cantarito set comes with these really cool uh, straws that are colorful. Uh, so yeah, and what we're gonna do is we are going to garnish with lime wedges. Ooh, like that on the side. There we go. And then we're gonna add a little piece of grapefruit. There we go. And then we're gonna add an orange wedge. 
Well, and, and I just sent you guys in the chat a picture of the Cantarito set so you guys can see how cool it is. Yeah, it's really cool, you guys. And look at that. Wow. I mean, seriously, it's so easy to make. And you can also, what I like to do is I like to add a little bit of tahini to my fruit already in the Cantarito because it gives it that little extra garnish and also that extra spice. Ooh, look at that. You guys, Patron, 7-Up. A little bit of citrus juices, tajin, chamoy, and you're good to go. And now wow. I'll try it. But if you guys have any questions, let me know. Any questions on the drink? Okay, well, if you make the drink, if you make your cantarito set, if you um, decide to if, make the cauliflower mole tacos like I am, don't forget to tag Isabella and Northgate. Um, we'd really appreciate it. And then this Thursday, we also have another class. Um, we will be learning how to hack some mole and make um, color with mole. So we'll be having three different mole recipes in a hack. So um, how to impress your suegra would be the best way to put it. Is that um, the name of the class? <laughs> it's color with mole. But then you're if also you gonna one of these, she'll also like you like in an hour. So yeah, <laughs> and then uh, she, she's also gonna make another version of a cantarito. So join us this Thursday at six o'clock. And also this Friday, the rest of the classes for May will be up. I'm very excited. Thank you everybody yes, for exciting joining stuff us. coming up, you guys. I'm very excited. And also, um, don't forget to look at our Dia del Niño promotion because we have a lot of nice classes and also um, the Concha box that Isabella took pictures of and I'm so excited. So. Yes, and it's really pretty. Uh, it's the perfect gift for Dia del Niño. I already bought all my sobrinos the, the box. It's the easiest and the prettiest and the nicest little gift you can give them. Salute and thank Salute you everybody. Bye. Happy Tuesday.